They say that crop circles are nothing but man-made drawings. And it has no mysterious origin. It does not require contemplation and study. How about 110 yards long and 55 yards wide formation? The straws were unbroken, merely bented. The location of the pictogram is archaeologically significant. Then a mysterious visitor arrived at the farm, and sporting a distinctive moustache. He brought along a metal detector and meticulously searched all nine sections of the pictogram, marking three spots with handkerchiefs, all of which contained a spherical symbol with a less than semicircle attached to it. Returning to his car, he retrieved digging tools and a bucket, and proceeded to unearth bronze, silver, and gold plates at the marked locations, which bear inscriptions completely identical to the crop circle. The amazing story of a crop circle in Germany and the three the Grasdorf pictogram plates. The Grasdorf pictogram plates, discovered beneath a captivating crop circle in Germany. In the early morning of July 23, 1991, farmer Werner Harenberg awoke to witness Germany's first spectacular crop circle, near the village of Grasdorf in Lower Saxony. This location holds historical significance as it is situated in the Teutoburger walled area, not far from the prehistoric site of Externstein, known for its natural rock formations and ancient carvings, which bear witness to diverse and ancient religious practices. The Grasdorf crop circle astounded researchers with its scale and complexity. Spanning 110 yards, 100 meters, in length, and 55 yards, 50 meters, in width, this formation covered an expansive area of 5,000 square meters, 6,000 square yards. It showcased seven distinct symbols and 13 circles, with a cross positioned within the central circle, reminiscent of the ancient sun symbol. The overall design bears resemblance to Scandinavian rock paintings, with the central object representing the sun chariot a sacred symbol to the Scandinavians and North Teutons. What makes this crop circle even more remarkable, is the discovery that the straws within it were not broken but merely bent. Farmer Harenberg noted that the precision and intricacy of the formation suggested it, couldn't have been created by amateurs, refuting claims of recent human-made crop circles further north in Schleswig-Holstein. The authenticity of the pictogram is a matter of speculation. When a person took a walk near the field around 11 pm, nothing unusual was visible, suggesting that its creation must have occurred later. However, there are peculiar indications surrounding the origins of this pictogram. On that night, Christian Fiedler from Grasdorf claimed to have witnessed an orange-colored, pulsating light moving rapidly in the area. Thousands of people flocked to visit the formation, prompting farmer Harenberg to collect entrance fees at the field's edge. Nine days after the pictogram appeared, an unidentified visitor arrived at the farm wearing a house painter's outfit, and sporting a distinctive mustache. He brought along a metal detector and meticulously searched all nine sections of the pictogram, marking three spots with handkerchiefs, all of which contained a spherical symbol with a less than semicircle attached to it. Returning to his car, he retrieved digging tools and a bucket, and proceeded to unearth bronze, silver, and gold plates at the marked locations. The visitor's identity and whereabouts remain undisclosed. After cleaning the plates, he impulsively or with the intention to sell, split the gold plate in half, as he informed the buyer of the two and a half plates, a person who prefers to remain anonymous but is described as a wealthy industrialist of high position. The buyer possesses the bronze and silver plates, while the gold plate's fate remains shrouded in mystery, as it has not been analyzed, and only half of it is visible in a photograph. The plates underwent several analyses, initially by a private jeweler and subsequently by the German Technical Institute's Metallurgy Research Department in Berlin. The silver plate was found to consist of nearly 100% pure silver, a highly unusual composition. Such high silver content is occasionally found in artifacts dating back to Roman times, approximately 2000 years old. The bronze plate contained the expected combination of bronze and tin in the typical ratio of 9 to 1. It is presumed that the industrialist currently possesses the plates, although this can only be speculated. Photos of the plates do exist, particularly focusing on the bronze and silver pieces, which the industrialist did not object to. 
However, the gold plate remains the most enigmatic of the three, as it has not undergone analysis, and the available photograph only reveals half of it. All three plates, including the gold plate, as depicted in the photos, bear engravings that represent miniature versions of the actual crop circle. The bronze and silver plates have a circumference of 23 centimeters and weigh three and a half and five kilograms, respectively. Notably, the bronze plate features several hollows strategically positioned, to suggest a depiction of the celestial heavens with fixed stars. The gold plate, measuring 18 centimeters and weighing seven or eight kilograms according to Marcus Schlottig, who has written a speculative mythological book centered around the Grasdorf crop circle, remains a captivating mystery. Heisman, in his writings about the discovery and subsequent analysis, describes the finding of three plates, one bronze, one silver, and one gold. The bronze and silver plates are currently in the possession of the industrialist, who showcased them at the Dialogue with the Universe UFO conference held in Düsseldorf, Germany, in October 1992. They were also featured in a segment on the Grasdorf case for the US TV program Encounters in April 1994. Additionally, Dr. Roma Bloom, a lawyer from Tübingen, arranged a scientific evaluation of the plates at the German Federal Institute for Material Research in Berlin. The evaluation revealed that, the first plate, silver in color, primarily consisted of highly pure silver, with a minor additional component accounting for less than 0.1%. It weighed 4.98 kilograms, 11 pounds. The second plate, bronze in color, consisted of a copper tin alloy, with the tin content ranging between 10% and 15%, along with traces of nickel and iron below 0.1%. The industrialist is reputed to have expressed a willingness to pay any price for the plates and has allegedly paid more than their estimated value. If the plates were a fraudulent creation, it would be an expensive endeavor. If they were crafted by skilled artisans before, during, or after the nine-day period between the formation of the crop circle and the accidental discovery of the plates, it would suggest an ambitious project aimed at validating the existence of extraterrestrial involvement in crop circles. Simultaneously, it would create a long-awaited connection between the magnificent but relatively unknown prehistory of Germany and the present day. The analysis of the silver plate revealed its exceptional purity of 99.9%, surpassing even sterling silver. Additionally, spectrographic analysis confirmed that, both plates were not cast, but rather made from a mixture of silver nuggets, natural copper, and tin pieces commonly found in Germany's Haas Forest, near Grasdorf. The plates appeared to have been created either by heating the metals to a point of partial melting, or in a low-gravity environment. These findings raise the question of why a hoaxer would go to such expensive lengths, both in terms of cost and effort, to deceive the press and a handful of crop circle enthusiasts. Regarding the gold plate, it was described as of the finest quality and impressed the examiner. The industrialist received approximately 25,000 euros for the bronze and silver plates, while the gold plate alone was valued at least 75,000 euros. The crop circle itself holds its own mysteries. It emerged in 1991 in a prehistoric sacred site, estimated to be over 4,000 years old, considered one of the most significant cultural prehistoric locations. Comprising interconnected circles, arcs, and a cross, all connected by line segments, the crop circle spans 100 meters in length. The first mystery lies in the existence of this crop circle itself, its origin and purpose still unknown. Even more astonishing is the fact that each of the metallic discs found within the crop circle bears an identical motif, precisely replicating the pictogram drawn in the wheat field. These discs, buried in the ground for thousands of years, likely played a role in this enigmatic occurrence. Spectrographic analyses suggest that the silver and tin in the bronze disc originated from a deposit near Grasdorf, the very place where the crop circle was formed. This alignment of motifs presents the second captivating mystery in this extraordinary sequence of events. The third mystery revolves around the reason why these three discs, crafted from gold, silver, and bronze, bear the same motif. Who or which ancient civilization created these discs, particularly one with remarkable expertise that existed in this region of Germany? 
The close connection among these mysteries becomes apparent when considering the authenticity of the reports, supported by the analyses and studies conducted by Michael Heisman, despite the peculiar nature of the events. It is clear that the creators possessed knowledge of these buried disks, likely forgotten by humanity for thousands of years. Such beings must possess a vision that extends beyond the material realm, indicating that they are spiritual beings with a deep understanding of the Earth's secrets. Rudolf Steiner explains that these beings, associated with the elemental forces of the Earth, have the ability to freely navigate within the depths of the Earth, often near metallic veins. As intelligent beings, they are naturally attracted to the element of metal. Therefore, it is evident that through the creation of this crop circle, they intended to draw humanity's attention to these three disks, and provoke our curiosity regarding this third mystery. While the prevailing hypothesis suggests that the crop circle might be the work of extraterrestrial beings from outer space, it is worth considering an alternative hypothesis, one rooted in a terrestrial origin, involving spiritual beings coexisting with humanity. Numerous testimonies exist regarding the existence of angels and elemental beings, and various human traditions and monotheistic religions recount countless legends, in which these spirits manifest. Moreover, spiritual philosophers extensively discuss these beings, emphasizing that they are an integral part of our world, even if invisible to our ordinary senses.